Anxiety, keep on trying me. I feel it quietly trying to silence me, yeah. My anxiety can't shake it off of me. Somebody's watching me and my anxiety, yeah. Solo, no mojo, I bounce back, no pogo, unhappy, no homo, new brands, no logos. Now this automation is very beginner friendly and I've just included like five notes here. So for this particular example that I'm about to show you, and I'll show you the output shortly, is basically grabbing AI news. And so I went to a website called Rundown. It's just a newsletter for AI and they have an RSS feed. So I grabbed the RSS feed and then I plugged it in here and then I added an AI agent to basically summarize the feed in less than 300 words. Then using the output of this summary, I then create a video inside of HeyGen and I'll show you exactly how to set that up. And then when it comes to Gen AI, we always need to wait because it's not gonna produce the content straight away. It usually takes, you know, either 30 seconds to about, you know, two minutes, something like that. So I've added a wait note. Once it's done, we can get the video. Breaking news, ChatGPT is now free to everyone in the UAE. This move makes the powerful AI chatbot accessible to millions across the country without any charge. Users can now leverage ChatGPT for learning, work, and daily tasks without worrying about subscription fee. To build this automation, head over to the school community. I've created a classroom just for AI blueprints and automations. There's one in there for N8N called My HeyGen Cloned Avatar. You want to basically download this blueprint and then go over to N8N, create a new workflow, click on these three dots here, and then you want to import from file, which is this one that I've just downloaded. It will then import the automation inside of your N8N account. So head over to heygen.com, sign up for a free account. And the first thing you want to do is create your own avatar. So head over to avatars, and then you need to basically create a free avatar inside of here. Now, the way this works is that you, you basically give them some context. And that means that you either record a video of yourself on your phone, or you can do it inside of their HeyGen platform, which is what I did. And what they require is about 30 seconds of content. And the point of this is to obviously grab your voice, but also your gestures, right? Like how, how do you look in the camera? Do you raise your eyebrows? How do your lips move, etc. They need visual cues. Okay, so the more input you give it, the better the output is gonna be. Once that's done, it will also generate an air voice. It will actually extract a voice. But for this example, I want it to be kind of a little bit more interesting. So what I did is I actually imported the Adam voice, which is very popular on the TikTok videos that you see going viral from 11 labs. So if you want to do that, you can actually connect and integrate a third party voice, which is 11 labs. You just need the API key from 11 labs. Kind of an FYI here, you do need the paid plan in 11 labs. So I already paid for it, which is why I went ahead and did this, but this is not mandatory, right? This is just an optional step. So you can actually use your own voice. Now to train it, you just give it as much input as possible. And I tried that, but it didn't pick up my voice. And there could be a few reasons for that. The first is that I don't actually live in the UK. I haven't been in the UK for like 10 years. So I probably picked up like regional accents in, you know, in Asia, in Singapore where I live. So it, it seems to think that I'm actually Australian, which I'm not, I haven't lived in Australia. I wasn't born in Australia. So I'm not sure exactly why it's picking it up. But at the, at the same time, I didn't train it much, right? I didn't give it that many inputs. So my advice to you is give it as many inputs as possible, right? Like read out the alphabet. You basically pronounce every single letter of the alphabet. So it has some context to basically generate the AI for you. The first node is an RSS trigger node. And so if I open this up, you can see that I'm actually pulling in an RSS feed. And this is for the rundown newsletter. Once you test it, you'll get basically an output that looks like this which is the metadata. The next node is an AI agent node. And so what I'm asking this node to do is basically summarize the information and kind of expand on it a little bit, right? So I put in the title as the prompt, so I'm gonna define it below. I've also put in the link and then I've required a specific output format and you'll see why in a second. Now, when it comes to AI agents, the most important part of the agent is the system message. So I put in here that you are a professional news anchor delivering a breaking story. I've given it some parameters, some guidelines, I've, t I've told it to keep it to under 300 characters. That's just because it's gonna take longer to render the Heygen AI avatar. Then I've asked it to output this JSON only, which is a variable called news, and then your final news broadcast script goes here as a single string. This is important because it's gonna help you basically use and manipulate the output that this a AI agent generates. It's just much more easy to handle downstream. And then you want to add an AI chat model because it is an AI agent. So when I open this up, you'll see that I'm using 4.1 mini. This is very affordable when it comes to running AI language models. You could actually attach an open 
router node here and you can use some free ones in there I, I do have another video about that that basically lets you do that so something like llama is usually free if you don't want to spend any credits on openai the next thing you need to do is because i've asked it to output into json we're going to need a structured output parser so if i open this up this is just the default one that's available inside of na10 and i've basically asked it to create a variable called news or basically pass the variable called news because the ai agent has created it because i've asked it to and then it'll just insert the text here. And this insert text is just a placeholder. And then what you'll see if I go back into the AI agent is that when I run it, you've now got a an output, which is fine. But we've actually got a variable called news, which is a string variable. Can you see that? So this is an object. An output is an object. But now the news field is a string. And this is really important because this is how we are going to plug it into the HeyGen API. This is very important. Without this, it's not going to work. So if I come out of this, the next module is a HTTP request node. And so now we have the output. We can now generate the video okay, so we're going to use the generate endpoint which is this base url here it's a post method and then we have some generic credential types which is header auth heygen ai etc and then we want to send over some headers because this is what heygen's api is telling us now if you download and upload the blueprint from my community this is all set up for you the only thing you need to do is just get your api key from heygen i'll show you how to do that next and then all this is set up and then for the body we've got json because whenever you send a payload back to the api it's always json okay, so the body type is json the content type is json and so if you open this up there's a bit of code here and the first thing you need is your avatar id so head back over to heygen find your avatar and then click on these three buttons here and then you want to grab the group id that's for the avatar for the voice it's almost the same so head over to ai voice click on the three buttons and then get voice id and then heading back to the automation you basically copy the avatar id in here and your voice id inside of here and then for the input text i've just dragged and dropped the output which is a string and i put that into here okay and then you can see here that the output this is what i'm, I'm going to be talking about when I generate the video, which obviously you saw earlier when I played it to you. There's some dimensions here as well and some speed. If you want more information about this, if you are curious, you can head over to the HeyGen API documentation and it'll give you more dimensions and other bits and pieces that could be relevant. And when it comes to your API, just head over to your profile here, click on HeyGen API, and then basically you just copy where it says API token. That's how you connect and it's end to your workflow with HeyGen. Then you test it, and then once you see it running, you'll get a video ID. Now, when it comes to Gen AI, we're obviously gonna have to wait. So there's a wait node here. I've just set it for 60 seconds. You probably wanna set it for a couple of minutes. And the reason for that is because I'm recording a video, so I don't need to wait that long. There are obviously gonna be parts that I edit out. And so just amend this accordingly. And then the last step is just to get the video. So you click on the node here, which is a HTTP request node. This is the endpoint which is video underscore status dot get get it's the same credentials this time we're going to use the fields below and the one that we need is video underscore id because that's what heygen's api tells us and then the value is just the id okay, so from the previous node from the wait node or you can get it from generate video node it doesn't matter it's the same id you just drag and drop this over here and then for the send headers that's going to be toggled on we're going to use the specified below fields below, which is accept and application JSON. And this is just because this is what HeyGen's API is telling us to do. When you run that, you're gonna get output, you get the GIF, you get the thumbnail, and you get the video URL, which is this the second one that I created, which is that UAE makes ChatGPT free for every citizen. And that's basically it. That's really, really straightforward, right? This is the most basic use case for AI. There's obviously a lot more you can do with this, but I wanted to keep it beginner friendly because a couple of you have asked me, I don't think about automations, is this the correct you know group for me is this the correct community for me and it absolutely is we've got automations for every different level it's also a community where other people will help you out if you've got any questions i'll jump in and i'll respond to every single post so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already turn your notifications on and i'll see you when the next video drops